this is some bullshit. They're canceling the fucking show? Yeah, they're planning to drop at us after seven years. That's a bullshit. Because the people listening like the show. Look, guys, you had a good seven-year run. What more do you want from us? You're like a goddamn Oreo cookie. It tastes like shit but swathed in the center. Okay, goddammit. Our hands are tied, okay? Yeah, you're goddamn right your hands are tied. Jerk and pass me the duct tape. Will Silverhammer, GJ Jerkman, Cruise Control, and G Motors. 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 I think somebody lit a cigarette. Nope, it's the hottest radio show on the internet. So keep it locked here from 7 to 9. It's still radio fan. They ahead of their time. And now it's lesson one, man. This is lesson two. No format because they keep it fresh and new. And this is what I call a real show. They tough as hell with a hard edge like a steel tough. They campaign like a bass in. So if you're mad at them, call in. Fuck some hate mail. And if you think that the jocks sound quirky, allow me to introduce you to the shit that irks me. Irks me. Irks me. Right, you sons of fucking bitches. Welcome to the shit that fucking cocksucking irks me. I'm Maxwell Silverhammer. I'm GJ Jerkman. And we got the hamster in here tonight. Sounds like she's chewing on some something over there. Yeah, what are you doing there, hamster? Are there some, some hamster seeds? or uh, peanut butter. All right. So you guys had a, like a car issue. Um, uh -huh. I remember, yeah, it was last year. And you know, there was something about the tire, and I've know. had an issue with this place ever since I got the car. <laughs> I'm well, telling you, I, I remember the tire story because they gave you a bad tire, yeah. Um, and Jerkman said it was ripped, and when they put it on, and they tried to tell the, you it was a new well, tire. Actually, what it was was the um, the inner threading that's supposed to go and lock inside of the rim to keep you from from having a blowout. A uh -huh. piece of it was hanging out. Oh shit. Well, see, it, it didn't start with that. It started with their worker, their employee, yeah. who became upset with me because I was trying to hold her accountable for her job, and she got ticked with me. Oh, one of those kind of people. How yeah. dare you make me do my job? Yeah, <laughs> and, and the bad thing about it is when you do that, these people usually have friends that work there. Oh. So this girl would go in the back when I'd get there. She wouldn't talk to me, but you'd see her disappear into the service department, and then she'd come back out. And every time she did that, <laughs> something happened to my car. So she'd warn the workers in advance, do something fucked up to her yeah, car. Yeah, she had a couple of people, I guess, there that worked for her, and, you know, she was just one of those people that uh, if you... She felt like she was the big honcho there, and nobody could touch her. And, and she people, was the macho honcho. Yeah, you know. we, we would go in there, and I mean, even after my last incident, I went in and sat down, talked to somebody else, <coughs> and the guy come in and and uh, said to her, "Well, what was that all about?" She was on the phone because she was yelling and screaming. Goes, "Oh, these!" And then she was screaming and yelling at these people, and I thought, "My God." That's what you did to me the last couple of times. Don't they get it? Yeah. Don't they realize that maybe after so many of your customers are having a problem with you that they should leave you go? Yeah, you think? Yeah, because you just, uh, you know, it, it, it's just unreal the way she behaved. I mean, and it wasn't really, it didn't start out as something bad. I just called up because I bought a um, Jetta, a 2012 Jetta. Yeah. And you have your maintenance, and you have to go in. They let you know that your maintenance is due every so many miles. Is this the dealership? Is this where, where you brought it? It's a dealership. Yes, yes, yeah. it's a dealership. What? <laughs> oh, is, that, is that a G Motors? Yeah. Uh, it's a dealership. <laughs> yeah, that's a dealership, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a, it was a dealership, and you think if you go to the dealership, they always tell you, you go there, you get your warranty, and then you... Um, let them w look at your car all the time because if anything would happen to it, you can say, well, nobody's touched my car but you guys, so right. it's okay. So anyhow, I went in for my, um, started out that I went in for my, uh, I called to see about getting my maintenance you checked. Went in, I went in for my, I went in for my, ah, shot, 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 that shot, I, shot. <laughs> 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 I'm sound like Elmer Fudd, my, my, my very <laughs> nitpicky over there. <laughs> yes, my wheel will stop spinning. Anyhow. Uh, yeah, you don't help me out there, mister. 
So <laughs> I went in and uh, or I called up and said, hey, I'd like to have my uh, service done. And um, she gave me this line of, okay, we'll do it. And then they never called me back. And if I can recall correctly, and then I called her up and said, look, if I don't get my car in, you know, you guys are going to tell me something happens to it. It's my fault. I said, and I've called you. And she says, well, I've been pretty busy, blah, 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 blah. And I said, well, okay. She says, I'm having a bad day. Nah. I hate when they blah, 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 blah. I, yeah, I don't know what they're saying. <laughs> just blah, 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 blah. And, and I said, okay, all right. Well, then she was supposed to. She says, I'll have a car come and pick you up. Or she says, uh We'll bring your, you bring your car up here, and I'll have a car uh, drive you back to your house. And I said, well, I can't do that. I said, I've got to go to work. I said, I need a vehicle. And they're supposed to give you a loaner. Okay. You know, so she's, and she goes, well, I can't do that. And I said, well, it's written in the contract. You know, I get a loaner if you guys can't do my car within a certain, per, you know. Now, this was still last year's situation, correct? This, yeah, this was a little bit before the tire. Okay. So, uh Finally, what happened to it, it got down to brass tacks where she called me up and she says, all right, I got it taken care of. She says, you can go down to um, Enterprise, she said, and they will uh, give you a car. She said, I got it all worked out. Well, I get down to Enterprise, take my car up, I get down to Enterprise, and what do I find out? I've got to pay Enterprise. Oh, so it's coming out of your pocket. Yeah. And Kirk and Spock were not nice about it either. Ah. Yeah, and I said... I said, look, I said, you didn't tell me I had to pay for it. She said, well, what did you think? <laughs> and I said, well, I thought you were taking care of it. I bought my car here. I've got my maintenance. I've got everything I was supposed to do. Why? Well, we don't do that. So her and I got into it, and I, I got really nasty with her. And uh, uh, so then uh, we, I left the car there. I had to get the maintenance done. And uh, we picked up the car, and George and I drove away. We only drove just down the street, and there was something with the tire. So we were going over to look at some tires at uh, Discount Tire, mm -hmm. and I said, let's go down there. Cause George said well, there because remember, when we first got to the car, I looked at it, and I said, there's a piece sticking out here. Yeah. And you said, well, you know... Uh, we should do something. I said, well, maybe we should drive somewhere. And you said, yeah, I'll go to Discount Tire. You're right, right. Because so I saw this piece, yeah. and, you know, after the kids freaked out, we had a whole... Yeah, kid and caboodle thing going on yeah. there. But. It didn't. It didn't look like you know. I I didn't know whether to have her take it off or not. So I thought, well, you know, let's drive down. So dr discount tire was probably maybe a mile, maybe a mile away. Would you say about that? Okay. Not that far. Yeah, about that. So anyhow, we get mile, down mile there, and, a half. and I said to the guy because of my mile, other three car, fours, oh, hush. possibly two. <laughs> <laughs> I get all my I get all my tires there for my other car, and. Um, they said, oh, you know, I said, look at this. I said, this doesn't look right. Can you please just look at it and tell me? So they tore it apart. They brought her, and they said, oh, no. They said, somebody sliced that and stuck it out over. Oh. I said, that's a brand new tire. And he goes, well, I'm sorry. He says, and I said, would you put that in writing for me? And said they it was did. very dangerous to drive. Yeah. It. That's right. I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. And they put it in writing for me. So I took the car back and said, look, I've got it from Discount Tire. You know, you guys are goofing around with me. So then the um, general manager, he was really at his wit's end. And finally, he said, just give her the tire. Can, can we say the name of this dealership? Yeah. It's the Volkswagen North. Volkswagen North. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah. So there. Finley Oaks Volkswagen North. Finley Volkswagen North. Oh, yes. Okay. So uh, after all this, you know, hallabaloo with this girl, I thought for sure they would either, you know, uh, take her out of Is her hallabaloo position. Hallabaloo like a fish or something. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like it. it. Sounds like some kind of pasta. Or <laughs> <laughs> I thought they would take her out of her position or do something or no, no, no. The next time I went in for my uh, service thing you know after we got all this tire taken care of well there was another problem after I left after I got uh, my I don't know if it was a 20,000 or 30,000 30,000 I think it was uh, we left there and then a while later my le electrical system didn't work right oh wow and it just so happened that George became friends with one of the guys that I'm so friendly at friendly, <laughs> friendly <laughs> for uh. that worked there, and he told them, he, he told George what they do behind the scenes that he found out. 
Oh, so this is an employee. This is an employee. Oh, the Volkswagen place. And he didn't say just Volkswagen. He, he said, say, yeah. That this he is said one this of the tricks happens. that they do. Oh, so a lot of car, car dealerships yes. do the same thing. Mm-hmm. Yes. Hmm. We didn't, he didn't that. name any. He just said there's a lot of them that do do this. What kind of stuff do they do? They just rig your car? They fuck with it when you're the, All the cars now are, are new. They've got the computers in them. So uh-huh. what they can do is just like a computer, you can set it up for a certain day for it to shut something down on your system. And them have to come tow it and know exactly when they plug it back into the computer. All they have to do is reset that again, and that part starts back up. Oh. And they so, can charge you. And they charge you. A, 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 they, they put it in as a date. They're like, okay, you know, in the computer, we want the, the alternator to, to act up on this day and shut off. Oh, gotcha. Okay. So, and that's what happens. They can actually program it to, to physically shut itself down or cause engine problems on a set day. And did you say your warranty just ended yeah, today? Yeah. No, I don't know it wasn't today, but no, it was it not today. that long ago. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, so the warranty's expired. They yeah. Yeah. after the expiration. Always after the expiration date. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. May, May or June this year is when it expired. So now, now all of a sudden, my car is sitting. <laughs> so it won't start. It won't do anything. And, and it goes, meep, 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 meep. <laughs> Sounds like a meltdown at a nuclear plant. Like it, like it should be saying, evacuate, 10-mile <laughs> area. Oh, it gives off an alarm? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it makes it, oh, it does your first like ding ding ding. You know when your car starts up, you don't have the seatbelt, but right. then it'll stop and go. And I was going, through, I went through my man manual, and I was looking at it to see because it's a new car. I mean, two years old, but it's still fairly new, you uh-huh. know. Right. And it's serviced all the time, and it's by them, by them, and hmm. I don't generally take it. You know, for long, long trips out of the state or it's anything. It's been ridden hard, but it still doesn't matter. It's only two it's years been, old. It's, it's been taken care of the whole old. time through yeah. that. Yeah. 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 And uh, and I'm looking at, and generally what's supposed to happen is they have all these warning indicators to let you know. Okay. Warning, if so- Will Robinson. <laughs> 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 if something's wrong with your car, so you can immediately, you know, take it into the dealer. Right. Nothing lit up. Oh. Nothing lit up. The only thing that left me know was that it was time for my um, checkup, to bring my car in for my checkup. That doesn't sound good, though. The fact that it's making sounds. Yeah. And, and didn't you say, though, Jerkman, that there's something that pops up that says um, something computer issue or? Well, yeah, when we looked it up, what did it say? It was something about um, uh computer indicator or indicator, something like yeah, that yeah an indicator oh yeah so they may have just fucked up an indicator on your computer well see i was afraid to take it back when that because i tried to plug in you know you have your lighter and then you can put your phone units and stuff in your plugs to oh, yeah. and they wouldn't work oh so your electric system's taking a shit yeah okay. and and this was right after i took it out of the shop oh, but i didn't want to go back because i'm thinking what the heck? I told him it wasn't, you know, what's going on here? What's happening? Check everything. Make sure everything's okay. That's what they're supposed to do. They're supposed to check my battery. They're supposed to check every so many miles. You're, uh, it tells them what they're supposed to check for a maintenance. Hmm. You know, like they're supposed to check your battery, let you know if your battery's low, right. uh, if you need a new battery, everything to keep your car running smoothly. Well, obviously, none <laughs> of that stuff was checked. And obviously, it worked fine yesterday. You yeah. drove it. You did everything. Yeah. So all of a sudden today, this is when it does its weird thing. Yeah. So what happened? Did you guys take it in? What, what? Well, I called the guy up and I said, you know, do you think maybe you might have an idea if this has happened to any of your other Volkswagens and maybe you can give me a roundabout idea of what I should be looking at? And then he said... <laughs> Did he t- no, you what know what he said, what right? What did he say? No, what did he say? Oh, we'll be right back to be continued. <laughs> What up, though? It's the Undeniable JT Money, a.k.a. the Bitch Eyeser. And you tuned in to STEM Radio with Maxwell Silverhammer and GJ the Jerk Man. Heavy that. And guess what? They hate hoes all much as much as I do. So don't sleep on these cats. And speaking of sleeping, don't forget to check out my new single, Hustling, from my new project, Morning Wood. It's going down heavy, baby. And speaking of being out, I'm out like a busted trapping, like you already know. Get him, Jay! 
Answer me this. When did happen a lot of YouTube hits and hella MySpace friends begin to determine whether a rapper has good music or not? Let's be serious. You wouldn't trust half of these people to wash your car or your dog. But you gonna let these people determine what music you listen to? That's crazy. You gotta be a leader, man, not a follower. Not a follower. And check out that classic album by your, your boy Black Eyes. 5.0 Reasons, 10th Anniversary, 1998 to 2008. It's that classic Bay Area G-Funk in my room. Sample the entire album at CDBaby.com, Rhapsody.com, Napster, and iTunes. Oh, just Google your boy Black Ice. That's Y-A-B-O-Y Black Ice. He was a young white kid from the suburbs who had it all. Yo, Pops, when you gonna paint my motherfucking Bentley and shit? Sorry, son, I'll get to it. It's just been very hectic down at the office. But he wanted something more. Yo, I wish I could be a G, dog. He wanted to come from those mean streets and be a G like his compadres that he looked up to. Yo, man, if only I could have a gack, dude. I'd bust the most caps out of any G. Then he met Jay Fucker on MySpace, where he learned to rock up that crack cocaine with the dopest of OGs from the street. Yo, we we gonna hit the track right now, and we gotta slang these hover rocks, these motherfucking fiends, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, dude, can I roll with you, dog? Can I roll in your 6'4"? It's a tale of urban struggle. Yo, you gotta do what you gotta do to survive out in this bitch, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, dude, I can dig it, I can dig it. It was a tale of romance. Hey, dog, you mind if we sleep in the same bed? Gerald Jismbag and Harold Hardcock give it two thumbs up. It's Black Cock Down. Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Maxwell Silverhammer of the award-winning shit that irks me. Now, usually I'm joking and having fun and laughing, but in this case, I'm here to talk about something very serious. There's a phenomenon that's going on all over this country. It's called dimpling or dimple caking. That's right. There are lonely ass, poor, sorry sons of fucking bitches that have no friends, no life, and nothing really going on for themselves. So they need people to talk to. So what they'll do is they'll call your phone. And usually what you'll do, being the heartless son of a bitch that you are, you'll just let the phone ring and roll it into your voicemail. And then you sit there and you contemplate. Oh no, I have to call this person back. I have to call this person back. Knowing that there's quite the chore that's in front of you, what do you do? If you're the heartless son of a bitch that never calls them back, you need to stop now. You need to call that person back and do your dimple duty. That's right, it is your dimple duty to make sure that this person is happy and content and feels worth. That's right, this person needs to feel like they have some worth. So, do your dimple duty today. Thank you, I am Maxwell Silverhammer with a public service announcement. Do you hate women that you can't fuck? Have you tried to rub your dick on some woman's foot and she turns you down? What the fuck are you doing? Uh, well if so, you need Game for the Mentally Lame. That's right, if you're a mental retard and women are trying to kill you with their Google Cheesy Leasy, then this is the book for you. That's right, learn brand new pickup lines. Hey baby, you see my face? Wanna feel on it? No, I don't want to sit on your face, but I'd like to split your fucking lip. Or, you can also learn brand new ways of being smooth and romantic with the come-ons. Hey, how about we go have some hookie, and then after that, we can go to the warm one Great, just what I've always wanted, my own drunken alcoholic retard. No thanks. So see, the proof is in the tard. So get Game for the Mentally Lame for only $19.99 if you call now. Order Game for the Mentally Lame for all tards and those who can't quite get it. If you're a fan of hip-hop and R&B, join me, the Bruh Bruh Ren, for a full non-stop hour of back-to-back -back slappers. back-to-back uh, -back slappers. Where the playlist spans from genres like R&B soul. R&B soul. Hip-hop bangers like hip-hop bangers 
life. 25 sitting on 25 mil, huh? I'm in the building and I'm feeling myself. Rest in peace, Mac Dre. I'ma do it for the bay, okay? Getting paid, we'll holler whenever that stop. My team good, we don't really need a mascot. The classic throwback, life. Well, I'm peeping and I'm creeping and I'm creeping. But I damn near got count, cause my beeper kept beeping. Now it's time for me to make my impression felt. So sit back, relax, and strap on your seatbelt. You've never been on a ride like this before. Every, every, every Friday night at 9 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. And Saturday at midnight Eastern Standard Time. Only on the Tough Love Show on J&J. FM. At last, the wait's finally over. Be Sick returns from a long hiatus with a brand new album entitled Mr. Zero Tolerance. Available for digital download only. Be Sick's no punches pulled approach on the mic gives listeners what they want as well as gives the rap game a well-deserved kick in the ass with such hard-hitting gems as the title track, Mr. Zero Tolerance. Mr. Zero fucking tolerance fakes at your butt. My touch from bust in the gut. My toleration is nuts. Fuck a buster and I pick up. Or the laid-back, fun-filled street I'm anthem entitled right. Change of Pace featuring Ghost. This is something to buck as a gift to the haters. So turn it up loud just to piss off your neighbors. And if you out rolling, you'll be getting a ticket. And if you're straight to the guts, bro, blind to the facts. Blind to the facts, set your mind to the track. Blind to the facts that with time we adapt. Blind to the facts of what you don't understand. Blind to the facts by the media scans. Blind to the facts of what you read in a book. Blind to the facts of your Download your copy of today's Day of Mr. Zero Tolerance from www.cdbaby.com or go to www.cdbaby.com slash cd slash b sick 2 Download your copy today. Keep the realness in the rap game. We are anonymous and you're listening to Maxwell Silverhammer. Fuck that guy. And DJ Drippman. Yeah, fuck that guy too. Only on STEM Radio. This shit really hurts me. Stim Radio. Stim Radio. Oh, yes, bitches. Welcome back to the shit that irks me. So, you guys were in the midst of telling your car story with uh, Finley Volkswagen. Yes. And uh, so what happened? Jerkman, you talked to this guy on the phone? What, what was the deal? Did I? No, I went up there and went in. Uh -huh. Yeah, and you got got. This was today, to right? Yeah. No, no. To the guy that was there, we were sitting when we were at the place, and I started sitting and talking to him. He was actually uh, he was in the army, I believe, or something like that, and he was talking about some of the stuff that was going on because we were sitting there, and and I had said something. I started cursing up a storm, and he's like, "Oh, good." He goes, "I'm the only one that does that," and he kind of sat down, and started talking, and we were talking about the issues uh, with the car, and then he just started spilling his guts about. Um, like what was going on with the air, whatever he was in the army and the stuff, the corrupt shit that was going on there. Then he started talking about the corrupt shit that car dealerships do. Mm. And one of the things was he says that they set these computers to, like I said, malfunction at certain times of certain things. Oh, okay. Well, I know that part, but I, mm -hmm. I thought you you guys said talk to him today or what did oh, you guys yeah, do? We, yeah, we she, talk, ta she talked to him Remember you were talking about the guy that was, I called him and asked him if he could give me an idea of what... He oh, yeah. thought may have been, may, could and, be and happening. And he goes, he goes, goes is a sound? Question. He goes, what sound does it make? And, and she goes, well, he goes, does it make a click, click? And, she's, and he asked this other stuff. She goes, well, I don't. I said, why don't you just go out to the car, start it up, and let him hear it. So she's <laughs> on the phone. <laughs> she goes out and starts it up and goes, ding, ding, ding. You know, like, you know, you see about all Bells and, and everything. <laughs> you know, like it's, like it's ready to dive under the water and torpedo somebody. Right, right. And, and then he goes, hmm, I don't know what that could be. <laughs> oh, and then well. he said, "Then he said, did you put your foot in the brake?" She goes, "No." He goes, "Put your foot in the brake." <laughs> Puts your foot in the brake. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. I don't know what the foot <laughs> on the brake was <laughs> for. <laughs> okay. So I, I know when you start your car, well, you put your foot saying, in the yeah, brake. Yeah, I thought that you were dumb enough. Dumb enough. Yeah, right. Yeah. Like, yeah. oh, I'll put my foot in the brake. Thanks, I fixed it. <laughs> it's been fixed. So now you have. But to then again, there were people that stupid, so we can't so, say much. So you have to have it towed now. Like he says, yeah, like he says. Well, we can't tell you what's wrong with it unless you bring, you bring, it, bring it, in. it in. Bring it in. I would say I can't pay you shit well, because you fuckers. That's what she said. She goes, "What's well, not under warranty?" He goes, "Oh well, um, <laughs> bring it in." Do you have um? <laughs> do you have a service, roadside service? Yeah. Well, maybe you can see if they can come fix it. And huh. and <laughs> he is, and if not, then maybe they can tow it to us, and we will take a look at it. Yeah, like oh, a, like they're supposed to. They but don't fix them. calls. They don't fix cars. Rides roadside service gives you. Um, you got to be on the roadside. 
Yeah. Well, uh, no, operative no, point, right? No, you can, no, no. You, no can, you can be at your house. You oh, can okay. be at your house, but the only difference is that is they don't come and fix your car. They come and check it out to see what could be the problem. If it's a battery, they'll try to jump it yeah. or, or something like that. Or they eventually tow you to a, uh, a to service a deal. center. Yeah, to a service center. Where they'll fix it and take a look. We at shall it. fix it. We will put our red capes on and figure out what button we destroyed so for you to bring it I in. So now I want to know. Do I take another chance and bring it back to these stupid people? You know, and let them mess with again. So what I think you should this do. This looks like a job for G Motors. Like, what would what would he do? You know, what's the? What I would say you should do is say, look, I was up there. I'm not going to mention any names. But one of your dealers up there told me what you guys do. I'm going to take this to another dealership. I'm going to have them look for this. I'm going to take it to your competitor. I'm oh. going to find out. If you have done this, and if you have, you guys have got a hoot luda, would you call it, hooky fish problem? Oh, uh, kabooga, problems? Kabooga yeah, something like that. <laughs> Some weird name like that. Kabooga? <laughs> 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 yeah, I, you know what? That's a good idea. Like, threaten to take call it to the bluff. competition. And uh, who is their competition? Probably nobody. See, if see I this own is the it. Same this thing. Is, we were talking about this today. I think one person owns all of them. Finley. <laughs> well, Finley. wait, though. There's, there's got to be several Volkswagen dealerships in town. Yeah, Finley's. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's all Finley, though. I, it, you yeah, know? Finley down is on Sahara. Finley at the Auto Mall. Finley. <laughs> oh, I'm John Finley. I'll do anything to get you a call. There's, there's <laughs> got to be something. Man, I, I wish G Motors was here tonight. Fuck. Where is he when you need him? I know. God damn it, G Motors. He's getting old. Oh, fuck. He's out just counting the sheep, you know, in the days going by. <laughs> yeah. Send me a text if you're listening. <laughs> maybe, maybe he's out looking for a new girlfriend. Think? No, he's got a new girlfriend, he tells me. What? Her name is Megan. He met Megan now? Megan Are we ever going to meet Megan? I don't know. Are you going to ever hear her voice? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, <laughs> wait a minute. We had Invisibrina, so this will be... Uh and this will be um, Magical Marina or what, uh, Magical <laughs> Megan, <laughs> Mystical Megan, Mystical Megan. There we go. Yeah, that's what we'll call her. Ah, uh, so that's been so that's it with the car. You're just waiting now, right? Yeah. So I, I, got like, I like Jerkman's idea. Find out who their competitor is and I, see got, how they act. There's got to be a competitor. You can't just not have a you know Finley doesn't own all Volkswagen dealerships. I think there's got to be another. I'm going to look around. There might be a Fletcher Jones Volkswagen. There might be a, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, tomorrow I'm going to look around and see and say, hey, my car's not working right. Would you like to check it out for me, please? Yeah, I hear the sound. <laughs> 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 but that's what you got to do. Get tough on these fucking people because otherwise they're just going to take advantage well, of you. Well, see what happened when I got tough with this lady? Yeah, she screwed me all up. Okay, and speaking of that, you lead me to a great that's a good transition here. It's a great segue. <laughs> I'm good at that. <laughs> well, uh, now what is it with these women in the workplace that all of a sudden get behind a desk and get a penis? I don't know. You know, we're, uh, I'm not going to say too much, but let's just say Rebel Rouser there, Jerkman, mm -hmm. got pissed off. Well, not pissed off, but we were given a chair. In uh -huh. the interim for our office. A simple chair. Just a chair. It's Well, it's you know, it's like a high back chair. It's nice. Right. It's got wheels on it. It's leather. Right. It's actually a really nice chair. And uh, so anyway, they ordered us another chair for the office. Well, once that chair got ordered, she was like, okay, we got to give this chair back now. Well, this chair was in an office when it was given to us, and it was a throwaway. You know, oh, basically, okay. she took us in the office, the office manager lady. Right. She goes, oh, this is, the, this is the office I keep all the furniture that everybody leaves behind. And there was all kinds of shit in there. Remember, Jerkman, I was going to try to see if they I had a desk. I remember desk because we were looking for the L shape at the time. Yeah, they did not have a desk, but it was a shitload of chairs and cabinets and all kinds of I other stuff. I should have thought about chairs at the time. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, there would have been chairs in there for you, for yeah. sure. Damn. But, uh, chairs for days. Yeah, oh, there were. <laughs> this place was, I don't know how the fuck we even moved around in that office. <laughs> but... Uh, Anyway, so she gives us, brings us this nice chair. So we're like, oh, this is great. Thank you. So anyway, I guess my coworker goes and takes it back. Well, my assistant prefers this old, uh, the other chair. He said because he has a medical issue and it's easier to use this other chair. Mm -hmm. And so I just said, well, we better email her and ask her which probably was stupid because <laughs> then it makes her think she's in charge and yeah. like she can call well, shots. And that's what you're doing. You're giving her authority. Yeah. No, you're right. You're right. And well, she doesn't have to take it like that. Well, yeah, you're well, right. A woman doesn't. Well, and you're right, yeah. though. It's like, I mean, it's just kind of giving people a heads up that work in the office. You know what I'm saying? Right. There's three of us in there. Right. So I'm being courteous. I'm, I'm trying to give courtesy to my fellow office mate. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. So I emailed her and I said, hey, look, uh, 
you know, Colin prefers this chair. Would it be okay if we just kept it in here? You know, um, you know, whatever. It's it's not a big deal. It's, and so she writes back. She's like, first of all, if something happens to that chair, we'll be responsible for it. It's not our chair. Uh, we need to get rid of that chair and blah, 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 blah. We have another one. There's a bunch of settings on it. He They're not responsible for the chair. Yeah. What's it going to do? Launch him into outer space or something? <laughs> well, okay. You sit down in that chair, and, it, and it's got an eject button that hits you in the ceiling. We're not responsible. I swear to God she should work for an insurance company. She thinks of the most unlikely scenarios ever. <laughs> you know, this is the one. Remember I told you about the, the other chair that was in there? That Wasn't that the one? Like, okay, we are now down to 0 0.14 hours <laughs> and 39 seconds yeah, and counting that was until the we relaunch the workforce. <laughs> Yeah, that <laughs> shit. Yeah, the, the text that I got. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then even that, which was funny, too, because we weren't ready to go back yeah. in. Whee, whee. Maybe that's what that sound came. Whee, whee. Yeah. <laughs> abandoned. Abandoned. Not ready to work yet. Abandoned. <laughs> Jesus. Well, there was a thing about the chair and, and the fire marshal, if the fire marshal ever came in. You know, stupid things that would never happen. You know, like a 99%, you know, 1 to 99% chance that that would happen. Right. right. So, anyway, today it was the chair's not ours, and if something would happen to it, we'll be responsible for it, and blah, 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 blah. And I said, first of all, it's a throwaway chair. They gave that chair to us. They didn't, you know, lend it to us. They right. gave it to us. Right. And right. I said, so if something ha happens to it, who cares? We're not, re it's nobody's chair. Right. So, you know, it's a donation, basically. I said, personally, I see no problem with this. Well, see, then my assistant, he goes, you know what? This is typical office bully shit. You know, like. Bully ship? Bully shit. Bully, bully shit. <laughs> yeah, bully shit. You know, you, know, you know how it is. Like, you get these. And I'm sorry. I know nothing. No, don't keep. Don't I, know, I know nothing of you gotta bossy stop women. You got to What are you sorry. talking about? <laughs> I know not, nothing of that. It's They're, not your fault that. that go ahead, They're bossy. Say it. Well, go these ahead, are. Say I'll tell you what. Th uh, there are a lot of females in the workforce, in the office especially. Mm -hmm. That are very, they're bullies. They don't like bullies in the workforce. <laughs> yeah. You know, and I've, I gotta say, I mean, all, I haven't worked with many, but to be honest with you, I haven't really worked with too many men. You know, most of the time it's all women where I work. Well, right? I mean, you didn't know you were uh, a female, so. Oh, oh yeah, really? Yeah, you didn't know that? Am I trans? You're right now wearing a pink dress. I'm gonna be a les I'm you a lesbian. Didn't know. You didn't know that, did you? I'm gonna be a lesbian. This is I think great. you are. So I can You're fuck a bold chicks. one. I can fuck <laughs> chicks that I normally would you're not a get bald a lesbian. being a man. Yes. Wow, that's yeah. cool. So anyway, I didn't get a message back. So I'm suspecting she's either... Well, you, you know, <sighs> first of all, it has to go through tears. Did you send it the 4069 that goes in front of that email uh, that you didn't... Did no. you correctly send the 4069 first? No, no, to, I did 4068. To, to request <coughs> a way to email this to her? No, I did a 4068 form See, first. See, what, what did I tell you before? A 4068 is only to prep for the 4069. Oh, uh, you guys are making me choke. God damn it. <laughs> you know what? Oh, you know what else I forgot to? <laughs> oh, man. Did you start uh, it with de deer? Well, no, no. I, 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 You know, it was one of those things where... To whom it may concern, I told you, don't ever start it with dear, because that's condescending, talking to a female. But I did put... That's sexual harassment. <laughs> you know, that's the other thing, too. <laughs> you know, she can make jokes, and I'm always afraid to make jokes. Yeah, because you have to be. You're a guy. Yeah. You're the one that gets drilled yeah. to the wall, not her. Oh, yeah. I'm she could walk up and say, Ma, your package is swinging low, and you could have a package in your hand. Ha, 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 get the innuendo. <laughs> and if you walked up to her and said... She could have two bags in her hand. Boy, your your sacks are swinging low. <gasps> You're talking about my breasts are low. Yeah. <gasps> oh, that's such. No, I'm talking about the bags you actually have in your damn hand, dumbass. <laughs> that's it. You know, that's why I'm not. I'm. I've been very careful. You know, you have you well, and you have to be. You know it's like, do. God you damn, I, I'm afraid to say anything. You yeah. have to be. You know, but women I, are the first one to scream sexual harassment. It's sexual harassment. I felt very uncomfortable. Well, I look at look what happened to me that one time. Oh, the hot dog one. The hot dog thing. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Yeah, that's some ridiculous. <laughs> and but I was like, whoa, you're kidding me, right? But you caught it, which was good. Who, me? Yeah, you just said, uh-uh, uh-uh, and we're not playing that game. Yeah, I said it right yeah. off the bat. No, so don't even try that bullshit. Yeah. Actually, Hamster, could you crank me up just a tad? It's my headphones. Your headphones? Yeah. Just You're number one. Crank. Yeah, turn me up a little bit uh, so I sound good. Okay, that that's nice. You're welcome. I like that one. <laughs> Hamsters got short hands. They can't reach. Oh, it's her claws that won't reach, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so, yes, it was more of this workplace female bully bullshit. And, you know, it was... Uh, well, you're helping give her power by emailing you know, her and asking her. By being courteous? God damn it. Well, see... Wow, you really just don't get it, do you? Well, he's just trying to be nice. Jerkman. 
I, you grew what up. What have I told you? <laughs> what have I told you? <laughs> you grew up with women. Yes, I and still... once again, I am a prime example of a man that's just barely survived through this. Oh, get out uh -huh. of here. <laughs> but see, this is it. And, and as a man, see, because to, with me, it was just my mom was the only female in the house. You mm -hmm. know, the rest was my dad and my brother. So, you know, we were, we're all guys. So for me to understand female thinking, it's still like. <laughs> you know? he, he would, George was raised with all females and still doesn't understand. Well, he no, does. I, I understand. He, he, he explains it and breaks it down for me. Oh, he does? But, but yes. My, but my mind... Doesn't just, mean I want to go that way with everything. <laughs> but my mind just won't wrap around it. It's like, huh? That's <laughs> fucked up, man. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> but no, there's, there's so much fucking... And I'm telling you, the main bullies in the workplace are women. Women. They yeah. always have been. Every yeah. place I've ever worked, they've always been yeah. women. I mean, yep. there's been a couple guys, you know, that the power went to their head. But the majority of the time, the ones that were the meanest, the ones that were out to destroy you in any way, shape, or form were females. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I trust me, I know. And if, and if they get any inkling of power, watch the fuck out. <laughs> I know. Like they that they could be the sweetest women. They, you, you could work with them, right? Yeah. As 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 an equal employee, like you're they're the same level as you. And they're and you're like, Oh, she's so cute, she's a pretty girl, she's so nice, she's sweet in a minute. You know, Hi Maxwell. Hi Tanya, how you doing today? <laughs> I just got a promotion, <laughs> fucker! <laughs> Shut your ass, darling! Shut the fuck! You're like, Jesus Christ! Well, you know, here's, the, here's the other thing I've noticed. If they had a supervisory position at their other job, so yeah. this is what I'm afraid for us a lot. You know, once they get that taste of supervisordom uh -huh. when they leave and they're back at the bottom of the barrel again yeah. oh. then they think then they're, they're still supervisors no they're yeah. no they turn into badgers then yeah. they chew their way through anything to, to work their way back to the top i know i've seen them do it where then, then they'll go up and like hey tom how you doing today <laughs> oh, i'm doing good tanya what are you up to oh not too much you know the boss the other day when he came in here he looked at me and and he put something in the thing and that yeah i don't like when he does that well the ones <coughs> hey boss you know what tom just said <laughs> 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 well see what it is that they're not necessarily snitches not the ones i've seen the ones i've seen that used to be supervisors because oh, you haven't followed them around to watch what they do behind you, your back you've got to watch uh, the snitches behind the oh, uh authorities oh i know <laughs> there's snitchery too but that's another that's a whole nother part of that shit but uh, I've seen them when they used to be supervisors, and mm -hmm. then they got moved to another position or something. Yeah. And then now all of a sudden they badger the fuck out of their supervisor, and they're like, "Well, this," and they still think they're a supervisor, so they're trying yeah. to tell other coworkers what they can and can't do. That's it. in the case of this one. I'm wow, just no, that, that that's called being a woman. <laughs> what are you talking <laughs> well, about? It has nothing to do with the workplace. I'll tell you when I because uh, uh, this one that I'm telling you about now used to be a supervisor at her other job or whatever and she's the jesus of life i mean you can't tell her shit she knows all you know when we had the bugs she knew those kind of bugs <laughs> <laughs> you know what i'm saying oh uh, they're doodigeries oh yeah. they <laughs> suck the life out of mosquitoes and their the natural habitat is on a uh poly -pofling leaf. that's a vectal black yeah. bug you and know they chew you've, through that you've either got the women in the workforce that are gung-ho or you've got the ones who are so dominant that they're afraid to even look at somebody Oh yeah, no, that's I mean, and they're afraid of these other women. Hey, she scares my male assistant. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, he's like, uh, I don't really like dealing with her. <laughs> you know, and and I'm like, dude, you get at some point you're gonna have to. And he's like, I just I don't like that man. If I and I'm going, look, man, it can't always be you and me. <laughs> and I told him, I said, like, save me, man, <laughs> save me. <laughs> I'm like, I'll back you. You know, I'll be here. Don't ever think you're gonna be here alone with her. And see, that's what guys do. They'll sit there and like they'll, they'll huddle together and, and they're like, come on, man. Help me out here. <laughs> Save me. Hey, well, I'll Oh, back. no, man. You're in it on your own, <laughs> motherfucker. No, 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 I'll back him. I'll back him because I have to. You know what I'm saying? Right. But uh, it's just, man, it, it's just a fucked up work environment like that, man. You know, when you got somebody who's, who thinks they control the shit and that they're the supervisor yep. and they're the fucking king vaginal blood. Yeah, well. You know, whatever. That's what happens. Jesus. Yeah, I don't know. Then. How many times have we told you? Yeah. Two men will hate each other. They can, they can, they can. I'll beat the shit out of each other. They can go up and punch each other, and then walk away and, and say, "Let's get a beer." A woman goes <laughs> up to another woman, and it's like, you know, I love your outfit you're wearing today. Where'd you get that from? I got, I got it from J.C. Penney's. Was it on sale? Yeah, it was on sale. 
Oh, well, I'll talk to you later. That fucking slut ass whore. I am going to fucking destroy her and everything about her. I wanted that dress, and that bitch knew I wanted that dress. She knew my subliminal message she never picked up on, and she got it first. I can never buy. I will kill her. <laughs> I'm telling you. You're like, oh, my fucking God. You know, I'm surprised. Cask of Amontillado. Remember that book? Where, no. where the guy, um, he has an enemy, like you know, a dude that he's been enemies with forever. Mm-hmm. Finally, he goes up to him and acts like he wants to sort of bury the hatchet and be his buddy. Right. And he takes him back to his house, and he's got this wine cellar. He's like, oh, I've got all these wines here. we got to try <laughs> these wines. And he just takes him down and kills him? Well, he gets him so fucking drunk, mm-hmm. the guy passes out, and he builds a wall around, around him. him. I've yeah. heard of that, yeah. And then <laughs> walls him in. But I'm thinking, that that's a woman move. Yeah. That's something a chick That move. is. <laughs> that's, that shouldn't have been men in that story. And it should then, have been women. But no. No, see, a guy would seal it off. A woman would leave one brick open and then show her all the pretty shoes she's bought and wearing <laughs> around, and then she would feed her diet pills. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, women are sadistic. Jesus Christ, man. Yeah. The fucked up thing they do to each other. It's like you guys just cannot get along, can you? Some of them are. Some of them are. Man. I know some that are. Well, I know some that or are. they'll take a, a you know sort of a, a weaker you know like I will say for my assistant. I mean he's he's a great guy, but not he's not a a fighter. He's oh not. they'll take out the weak guy real quick. Oh yeah, they'll try because they go this. Yep, that one right there. Oh, because she'll pick on him too. She yeah, they do. That's what I'm saying. They yeah. will nail you. They'll sniff you right out. You can't show any sign of weakness. Mm-hmm. If you do, you're done. I don't know. I I know that peop- women get catty. Catty. Uh, Catty, yeah, they get cats catty even catty with even each cats other. will say, "Well, that's an understatement." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> cats at least are nice. Yeah, Shit. cats are meow, and then they're done. <laughs> Actually, one day she did something to me, and even my assistant was like, "You know, you could have gone, you could have turned her ass in if you wanted," because I got mad at her for something because she got well. Colin and I were both there, we're getting ready to leave, and uh, she walks up again. She's like. Guys, I'm on the phone. And I, I said, well, you wanted us to stay so we could talk to you. Oh, I remember that. Remember that one? Yeah. And then later when she hangs up, we finally talk. And then she comes up like she's playing. And she's like, uh, like she's like pretending to strangle me. Right. <laughs> but I'm thinking like. She said, oh, my God, yes, I can't breathe. <laughs> but you know, hey, what if I would have done that to her? Yeah, you would have had charges yeah. on you instantly. I'd have been yeah. gone. You would have been filed yeah. on, and she would she would have wasted no time. She would have probably been filling it out as you had your hands on her. Oh <laughs> fuck yeah, she'd have pinned out and everything. And I he, keep one of these just he's for got this. Got his hands around my throat, right? and you could have not even choked her, but she would have been exaggerating oh, the fact. Oh yeah, and then she would have went home, pushed two fucking thumbnails into her own goddamn throat to show where you did it at. <laughs> right, I look, look <laughs> there, here's the marks. Man, yeah. <laughs> fucking vindictive bitches in the workplace. No, there are. There are vindictive women. Very, very vindictive. And I have a hard time with that because no matter what you do, <laughs> you can't be nice to them. Uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> you can't. You can't. You, you, you can't. can't. It's a weak spot. They no, see it. They sniff it's it out. Like they sit and then they attack. As, as soon as you say something then to they them. they look at you and say, if you learn to run your business right. <laughs> oh. Ooh, I sense a little uh, tension here. I don't know who that you're talking about. <laughs> Anything uh, that this one's ever told you was <laughs> to make the business better. <laughs> See, you can't argue. <laughs> oh, you can uh, argue. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Say the last part. I will destroy everything around you, <laughs> but it won't do any good. Yeah, you ain't gonna win. <laughs> Oh, like yeah. they said, uh, you've seen that thing on Facebook. You haven't seen it, obviously, because it's a, it'll be in a, 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 a meme a, or a, something. A meme, a, a picture file. But it says um, ways to win an argument with a woman are listed on this page. There's nothing. <laughs> 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 you can't. <laughs> yeah, that's why when uh, y- y- it's just funny because I'll see Ocelot, you know, go to bat for a lot of women all the time, and it's like, well. Wait a minute. Ocelot? Yeah, Ocelot will do it all the time. She'll be like, I, that's not true. Even when she knows she's in the wrong and she knows what we're saying is totally true, she will say it's not. Yeah. It's like, come on. That is not true. Don't, oh, yes, it is. Don't back other women just because you can't. I know plenty of women that will t- straight up, well, you just said outside, hamster. You, you don't like women. No, I, I have <laughs> a problem with women because they can be mean. They can be evil. They can turn what, you, what you're trying to do and, and take the niceness. Manipulate. Yeah, they do. They just If you say one thing to them that they don't like... If you try to say, hey, you know, and do it in a nice way like you did with your boss, 
you're you're you better watch out because they got a voodoo doll and they're going to go home every night and they're going to stab you with Sticks that Sticks and pins in that bitch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and women like that, I I do have a problem with, and I will come up against them because if you don't come up against them. <coughs> They've got the better, you know, they've got the hold over. See, where it's different with you, because you're a guy. So if you'd go up against your boss. Oh, well, she's not my boss. She oh, thinks well, she's my okay, boss. Okay. That's okay. so funny. All right. Well, the th uh, the no, my she's your boss. My boss and I get along great. Well, the thing my is. My real boss. <laughs> yeah. The thing is this, is if you go up against her, she can come up with all Ten, kinds of crap nine, that can hurt you, eight, you know? But yeah, seven. <laughs> He's uh, counting us six. down here. <laughs> I know he is. Five. But you know what? Four. Fuck it. I mean, three. Like I said, as long as my boss is happy, Two. that's all I care about. One. God damn it. Yeah. I, yeah. Got, uh, I gotta finish the way, this one. George started it. I gotta finish this one. <laughs> Be right back. <laughs> What up, though? It's the Undeniable JT Money, a.k.a. the Bitch Eyeser. And you tuned in to STEM Radio with Maxwell Silverhammer and GJ the Jerk Man. Heavy that. And guess what? They hate hoes all much as much as I do. So don't sleep on these cats. And speaking of sleeping, don't forget to check out my new single, Hustling, from my new project, Morning Wood. It's going down heavy, baby. And speaking of being out, I'm out like a busted traffic like you already know. Get him, Jay! A answer me this. When did happen a lot of YouTube hits and hella MySpace friends begin to determine whether a rapper has good music or not? Let's be serious. You wouldn't trust half of these people to wash your car or your dog. But you gonna let these people determine what music you listen to? That's crazy. You gotta be a leader, man. Not a follower. Not a follower. And check out that classic album by your, your boy Black Eyes. 5.0 Reasons, 10th Anniversary, 1998 to 2008. It's that classic Bay Area G-Funk in my room. Sample the entire album at CDBaby.com, Rhapsody.com, Napster, and iTunes. Oh, just Google your boy Black Ice. That's Y-A-B-O-Y, Black Ice. He was a young white kid from the suburbs who had it all. Yo, Pops, when you gonna paint my motherfucking Bentley and shit? Sorry, son, I'll get to it. I've just been very hectic down at the office. But he wanted something more. Yo, I wish I could be a G, dog. He wanted to come from those mean streets and be a G like his compadres that he looked up to. Yo, man, if only I could have a gack, dude. I'd bust the most caps out of any G. Then he met J. Fucker on MySpace, where he learned to rock up that crack cocaine with the dopest of OGs from the street. Yo, we we gonna hit the track right now, and we gonna slang these hubble rocks, these motherfucking fiends, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, dude, can I roll with you, dog? Can I roll in your 6'4"? It's a tale of urban struggle. Yo, you gotta do what you gotta do to survive out in this bitch, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, dude, I can dig it, I can dig it. It was a tale of romance. Hey, dog, you mind if we sleep in the same bed? Gerald Jismbag and Harold Hardcock give it two thumbs up. It's Black Cock Down. Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Maxwell Silverhammer of the award-winning shit that irks me. Now, usually I'm joking and having fun and laughing, but in this case, I'm here to talk about something very serious. There's a phenomenon that's going on all over this country. It's called dimpling or dimple caking. That's right. There are lonely ass, poor, sorry sons of fucking bitches that have no friends, no life, and nothing really going on for themselves. So they need people to talk to. So what they'll do is they'll call your phone. And usually what you'll do, being the heartless son of a bitch that you are, you'll just let the phone ring and roll it into your voicemail. And then you sit there and you contemplate, oh no, I have to call this person back. I have to call this person back. Knowing that there's quite the chore that's in front of you, what do you do? If you're the heartless son of a bitch that never calls them back, you need to stop now. 
you need to call that person back and do your dimple duty. That's right, it is your dimple duty to make sure that this person is happy and content and feels worth. That's right, this person needs to feel like they have some worth. So, do your dimple duty today. Thank you. I am Maxwell Silverhammer with a public service announcement. Do you hate women that you can't fuck? Have you tried to rub your dick on some woman's foot and she turned you down? What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> well, if so, you need Game for the Mentally Lame. That's right. If you're a mental retard and women are trying to kill you with their Google cheesy leasy, then this is the book for you. That's right. Learn brand new pickup lines. Hey, baby. You hear my face? Wanna hear on it? No, I don't want to sit on your face, but I'd like to split your fucking lip. Or, you can also learn brand new ways of being smooth and romantic with the come-ons. Hey, how about we go have some hoochie, and then after that, we can go to the rum runner. Great, just what I've always wanted, my own drunken alcoholic retard. No thanks. So see, the proof is in the tard. So get Game for the Mentally Lame. For only $19.99 if you call now. Order Game for the Mentally Lame for all tards and those who can't quite get it. If you're a fan of hip-hop and R&B, join me, the Bruh Bruh Ren, for a full non-stop hour of back-to-back -back slappers. back-to-back uh, -back slappers. Where the playlist spans from genres like R&B soul. R&B soul. Bangers life, hip hop bangers life. 25 sitting on 25 mil, huh? I'm in the building and I'm feeling myself. Rest in peace, Mac Dre. I'ma do it for the bay, okay? Getting paid, we'll holler whenever that stop. My team good, we don't really need a mascot. Classic throwback life. Well, I'm beeping and I'm creeping and I'm creeping. But I damn near got caught, cause my beeper kept beeping. Now it's time for me to make my impression felt. So sit back, relax, and strap on your seat. Don't you never been on a ride like this before? Every Friday night at 9 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. And Saturday at midnight Eastern Standard Time. Only on the Tough Love Show on JJ.FM. At last, the wait's finally over. Be Sick returns from a long hiatus with a brand new album entitled Mr. Zero Tolerance. Available for digital download only. Be Sick's No Punches Pulled approach on the mic gives listeners what they want, as well as gives the rap game a well-deserved kick in the ass. With such hard-hitting gems as the title track, Mr. Zero Tolerance. Mr. Zero fucking tolerance, you think that you're fucked. My touch will in the gut. My toleration is nuts. Fucking bust your head, I'm pissed up. Or the laid-back, fun-filled street ad from entitled Change of Pace, featuring ghosts. This is something to bust. As a gift to the haters, so turn it up loud just to piss off your neighbors. And if you out rolling, you be getting a ticket. And if you straight to the guts, bar, blind you to the facts. Lie to the facts that your mind's in a trap. Lie to the facts that with time we adapt. Lie to the facts of what you don't understand. Lie to the facts by the media scan. Lie to the facts of what you read in a book. Lie to the facts if you Download don't your copy book. today of Mr. Zero Lie Tolerance to from www.cdbaby.com or go to www.cdbaby.com slash cd slash b 2 Download your copy today. Keep the realness in the rap game. We are anonymous. And you're listening to Maxwell Silverhammer. Fuck that guy. And DJ Jerkman. Yeah, fuck that guy too. Only on STEM Radio. Damn, this shit really hurts me. STEM Radio. Oh yes, bitches. We're back on the shit that hurts me. Hour two, segment three. And, you know, uh, a lot of people never understood when you were saying that, that this would be segment two. They're like, no, we only had two breaks, so this is the second time in. But they don't uh, understand that that's a whole segment a coming segment upon. what started. Right. Yeah. So the last, yeah. <laughs> I've had wow. people say, why does he say that? Because it's, I'm like, the, because third it's the third segment. We Okay, we only went out, we went out for two breaks, so <laughs> we've done two already, so we're on to the third segment. This is the third segment. <laughs> Some people can't understand that. Man, it's like try to tell him. Well, it's a quarter of six. What's a quarter of six? What does it mean? It's <laughs> <laughs> the top of the hour. The top of what? What does it mean? That means at six forty-five, <laughs> fifteen minutes. Or you say fifteen, 15 minutes till? till? Yeah, and then they're like, what time is that? Fifteen minutes to what? What's going to happen in fifteen minutes? <laughs> oh. 
And yeah. you know what I'm talking about there. I know exactly who you're talking about there. Bentley <laughs> V. Very simple <laughs> t- stuff. You know what I'm saying? That she could never understand that. It's I actually put a picture up of me and her today in a yes, one. Yes, I Why? know. Well, because See, it was no picture. I, I, looked, I looked different in it. And it's just, oh, it doesn't matter. You know what? It's my damn Facebook. Nobody liked it too damn bad. It was a picture of I me. Know. I liked I thought I looked decent in it. So, well, why didn't you? Why didn't you Photoshop it? Cut yourself. Cut yeah. yourself look, out. Look, look, I don't do that. Okay, I lived my Uh-oh. life. Oh, you want to be nice to guy? You people. want to be Mister Nice Guy? I don't guy. have to Photoshop uh-huh. people out. I am not. Uh-huh. I'm not one of these crybabies that has to do that. It's hmm. not about being a crybaby. It's about well, if you get a photo and you want to Photoshop somebody out, feel free to do it. <laughs> well, you know, speaking of old loves and romance, <laughs> yeah. since we want to go there. <laughs> Remember a prediction you made a few months ago? Yes, I do. Probably about, I'd say about six, seven months ago or so. <laughs> yep. And, and you were all fucking freaked out about it. Yeah, you said, you know, Koala, and I, I thought it was crazy. I was like, oh, <laughs> man, come on, dude. He said Koala will be contacting me by the middle of the summer. Towards the end, maybe. Towards the end. Somewhere in that time period. And I said, oh, man, are you sure, man? If this is early. Why the hell? You know, because honestly... I'm kind of ready to just close the chapter on that. You know, you know I don't get it. I really don't get it with these people. I don't get it either. Why? It's like, if they done? don't want you and they tell you but they don't want you. <laughs> then stay away. Then stay right? away. Well, okay. Now Leave I, me alone. I can't be certain. I can't be 100%. And if I were to go into That's court of law. kind of suspicious. You know, I would be suspicious. Here's the suspicious tree. Suspicious tree You're right. It's been occurring here at my work. I get it. I get these phone calls. They used to be sporadic, you know. Sporadic. Okay? Occasionally, I get this phone Occasionally. call. Occasionally. And on my line, on his line, my line that's you know got my voicemail. It says what? And it's who his I am. voicemail, and that's who he is. And it's me. <laughs> that's it's, right. It, you know, it's not like you reach the office. You've actually reached the desk. I'm leading you along. And. <laughs> So then, thank you very much You're for welcome. the embellishments. You're welcome. <laughs> Such so, an agitator. <laughs> so anyway, I I got them sporadically where the, you know they'd call and I'd answer the phone, you know, and they'd hang up real quick. Mm-hmm. So I'm going, okay, that's a little strange or whatever that is. Right. So it, you know, it didn't happen very much. Well, it's starting to happen more. Like, well, I'm talking Picking up. Every and week or so, yeah, because I think I had one last week. Someone's getting more of a nerve, it sounds like. Yeah, exactly. Like, you know, that's what happens when you get a little more worked up. You're like, I could do this. I could do it. And it's usually in the morning. They want to hear your voice. Yeah, well, why don't they just call the voicemail when I'm not there? But why do they want to hear your voice if they didn't stay with you? Yeah, if they don't want to be, be with you. Well, and, oh, well, maybe. Oh, yeah, you don't what, know. What changes from the time they walk out the door till 20 years later and they, oh, I'm so in love with you. you I wanted to ba- call you, but I just didn't. I oh, didn't. Oh, I don't too, know why sound. we you didn't make out right. Because that's I, how they sound. Yes, it is. It's so <laughs> stupid. Oh, my God. 45 years later, my ex-husband says, I've always loved you. Oh, Give me a break. <laughs> you know, I never loved you. I thought I did, but I didn't. I just just hey, too hey, stupid. hello, hello. We don't do racist stuff here. You never loved a Jew? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> That's what sounds like she said. <laughs> you don't have to drink, friend. Gotta throw I never shit. loved a Jew. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> a, but it is. I don't get it. I do not get it. People that I knew from all the time that I was divorced, that I had going out with and for the life of me for some reason i wasn't anything that they wanted to be bothered with but now but now all of a sudden ah i'm in vegas can i see you oh Oh. yeah i can't wait till you see me because (laughs) i can't wait to well in this case it's you know it's like eat your heart out it's like a chapter i just wanted to close man i'm I'm kind of done with it yeah i mean it's just finish this chapter what what do they think because you cared for them so 50 years later they're going to come back and say oh I really did care for you. Like, you're supposed to fall Man, all over them need then. psychological help. Oh, no. Yeah. Why is that? People these do these people things. Need, oh, yeah, right. But they why? do. It's just a thing that people do. People, I don't do people it. People settle. Why? Oh. I don't do it. What? Why? I don't do it. What? <laughs> uh, uh, no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, for a period of time, you did. If Koala, within that three-year period, sure. if you were mourning over her. Yeah, but he got over have, it. Yeah, but hello, wait a minute. If he would have came back and said something to you, you more than likely would have probably 
thought about it. Well, there's Possibly a, there's a, a time period. Chance. There's a time there's period. A, yeah, I have I'm to talking say. About now. I have to say, there's a time period Fourth in year, there. maybe. I'm talking about three years. And you still really, truly don't know. You, She has not talked to you. No. You yeah. don't. You, but I'd rather you can say didn't. what you feel. Right. Because, because it's easier for you to stay in that little box if she sure. wouldn't talk to you. Because if she would talk to you, you... You don't know how you're going to react or what you're really going to truly do. Yeah, I just don't. I don't even like to think about but it. But if I'm she like, came back and you could be as hard as you would like to be, but if she said the right words and the right stuff, you may end up falling for it. So you get screwed over again. Yeah, That's it, exactly it, right. Yeah, it's like uh, I don't think so. No, because if if they didn't get it the first time, if, if these people, if I wasn't good enough for them the first round and did everything for them and treated them like you know like they were everything in my world, and then forty years later they're coming back and saying I don't know what you had a bad experience I, oh, that's you that's no. not, oh that's not the way everybody works it's, it's that person too it's a, you're, you're right. just like well I'm sick of you uh they, well not even sick of them I, I just you know, yeah, yeah. I appreciate the time we had, but I'm you kind of get I'm over gone. it. You get you get to the point of you know I did everything I needed to do, and all you're going to do is come back and make a fool and out so of me oh, again. And so everybody in the world should think like you. And hamster, yes. You can fall out of love yes, with somebody. Yes, you can. You? Uh -huh. you can fall out of yep. love. You can, they can be your world. They could be everything you live for. They could be everything yep. you've done for them. But, you know, after it comes to a point, you go, oh, my God, why was I so stupid? Oh, yeah. There's some women that I look back on that I had crushes on that I'm like, yeah. what? I wouldn't fucking shit on them. Yeah, put them I know. <laughs> you know? My, I cringe when, when my ex called me on the phone i'll tell you i got so sick to my stomach i wanted to throw up did you talk to and him and i only i had to do it for my grandson if it wouldn't have been for my grandson when they told me i had to call i mean i was sweating i was sick to my stomach it was a quick conversation i'm sure that's cool. a show you were uh, still in love yeah right <laughs> right it's, it's just like uh, just go just go <laughs> you know, yeah leave me alone you know you didn't want me then don't bother with me now. You cause me too many headaches, too many heartaches. You know, you're a piece of shit as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Get lost. She's a piece of shit. So, she's calling your dad a piece of shit, man. Yeah, I know. Ain't that nice? I think. Is that your dad? Yeah, it's my dad. Yeah, it's his yeah. <laughs> Well, if the shit fits, wear it. <laughs> right? <laughs> so, but, um, no, I, it, 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 what's your gut feeling on this, Jerpin? When you mentioned Gary, that is a po very strong possibility. <laughs> yeah, I, I doubt that. I, I really do think it's probably her. Wow. I think it's just if if nothing ever comes of it, I think that's it's her way of the only way that she could contact you now, you blocked her on everything else. Well, I haven't really blocked her. I just unfriended her on Facebook and you know, she could she could email me if she wanted but to. But a safe zone would be your job. You know, yeah, Max, because I couldn't figure it out. Right. Maxwell, they can't take rejection. Well, as long as they're giving it to you, it's fine because you keep following them. And oh, following but them if and I thumb. kept chasing, then then yes. Yeah. As long as you kept chasing, they don't want nothing to do with you because they know they have you. And any time they want you, they can come back to you, and you will fall all over them. Yeah. It's when you get to the point of where you say, "Excuse me." The way she sounds, it's figured out how she even had any kids, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? You're a though? piece of shit. You're a piece of shit, and <laughs> you're you know your dad was a piece of shit that made you a piece of shit. But you know what? It sounds like she learned from her mistakes. Yeah. And it took 19 years to learn that. And then, not only that, two years after that to get it through my stupid head but that, that was all I was doing was mistake. hurting myself more by trying to follow him that, around and chase him around. But once again, that was her mistake. It's Who's not everybody's mistake. mistake. Yours. Well, if, I if it was 19 years people. and it was that, you know, you did what was right for you. Doesn't mean it's right for everybody else. Oh, uh, well, you know. Just be, you, were, you were not king dictator here of what the world should be okay but, why, but i don't I go backwards though I yeah mean. i don't see anybody getting and any benefiting well I that's like saying you know that's like saying okay we're in a desert we're trekking this far we got all this way and someone walks up to you and says oh we need water we need water right. now we're all gonna die right. we keep trekking you, you walk up something? to this guy that and he goes you know there something? was an oasis three miles back no oh fuck it why turn back now no. let's just keep on going if somebody lives with you sometimes or, or, and they life treat you is a turnaround no when they treat you like a piece of crap they will always treat you like a piece yeah, of crap yeah i agree I, because I if they did if they I, cared I'm for you i'm not saying they 
couldn't do I'm the things they do I'm just saying it doesn't apply in every situation. It applies in every situation. See? I'm sorry. Do, do you think that they'll change? I've never seen anybody change. I've never oh, heard really? of anybody change it. It's always really? the same thing. Why do you think really? people... Really? People Wait a minute. That you guys are just contradicting yourself. Why? Why? Because you said you learned and changed from it. So if people don't Not change... Not to go back to do the same no, 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 thing no, 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 over no, no. again. So you just contradicted yourself by saying people don't change. I guess people do change. No, well, we're talking about the people who treat as, you like a piece of crap. As far as <laughs> fucked up behavior goes. Right. You, know, if, you, you could yeah. change your mindset. So wait a minute. Do that so, so we're all doing the same but fucked up behavior we've always done, right? All of us here. I don't know. All of us here right now, we still go out and and do dumb shit that we've learnt from. So you're not gonna win this one. You can manipulate all you want. Oh no, trust me, I will. I'm not manipulating in the slightest bit. You're spin doctor, man. It's it's working though because you guys can't answer it. No, it is. It's not working. We're trying to. We're, you know? it's not it's not working we're going to tell you if you want to be treated like a piece of shit it's all up to nobody you nobody said being because treated like a piece of gonna shit nobody's going to come back to you and you're going to sit there and you know 20 you years later person and 20 you years to later out. 20 years later no Dude I mean, on Max's show he likes it 20, 20 years later they're going <laughs> to they you're going to be See? sitting there going why in the hell did I go back to these people they treat me like dirt 20 years I want to be alive shit them. I'll be happy if I make it through next year well like you said are we still doing our dumb shit no, because no, we're not going to be making the same it. mistakes. Yes, we stopped. So we then, said, what does that mean? Then you've changed. We, we we've changed, right? Okay. We've changed how we look. So at you, if you can change, other people can. No, you know what? I, no. I, you know, no. Just, okay. Once you're a bastard, you're a bastard. There's no way of changing it. <laughs> you know what? It's like this. You can change how you look at things. Yes. Uh-huh. but you can't change how you behave. That's right. Really? That's, that's what I think. Really? Uh-huh. Yep. You can't change how you behave. If you are, oh, no. Here's wow. here, here's the smirk on your face just tells me you're waiting for me to spin it back toward you. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'm waiting for you to spin it back <laughs> towards me. I'd like bottom, to hear your justification yeah. on this. So you can't change your behavior. The bottom. That's what you're saying. No, I'm still the same crass asshole that I was so, in high school. So, so people, <laughs> so people have been out there, and and someone that's went out and maybe accidentally killed somebody because they drank when they were foolish and a teenager. That's or totally younger. different. Oh, is it? That now? is totally oh, different. Oh, 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 oh well, well, you give me the justifications of, of the guidelines listen, that I have to follow no, no, by no, here no, to, no, to listen, make this the way you listen, want to spin it. Listen, we're talking about empathy. Uh huh. And if people don't have it, you're not going to give it to them. Yeah. If they love you. They love you, wow. and they'll treat you. So you don't, you don't think that there's anybody in this planet that's ever been separated or, and wanted to be together, but things have happened that were on, beyond their control, and they did separate, and they got back together and still uh, did love one another. This wasn't a beyond control thing. This no. was I'm, just, I'm just saying. Uh, no, no, you guys are saying nobody. So I'm putting this out there. You guys said nobody. Well, you you guys some, have you blanketed some, the whole something. fucking thing. Well, no, you spun it, though, because yeah. obviously the person who, when you said they were separated by, by situations beyond their control. Right, maybe the time. Maybe, that's not their fault. That's not their well, fault. Okay, but maybe at the time, that person if they th- was acting you. and not realizing. Listen oh, to me. Listen, me no, 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 listen to me. me you want to give me, I give you a chance. Now, they were acting the way that they didn't learn how not to be yet, which you guys oh. have. So right. maybe they've came around to the point where they've realized their mistakes and are willing to go back because they've changed their outlook and how they do things. So now that person doesn't deserve a chance. So you're trying to tell me Bring that everybody that's been to jail should Bring never, ever get back out again? It's not about love. Hey. Going to jail is not about love. No, I'm saying. Some people, people, second chances. Some people can be mar- yeah. <laughs> Some people think it's love. Oh, he whooped my ass. He went to jail. Well, no, I'm just saying because you. I just said we've done dumb shit. Well, we've learned. And we changed. Okay, well, so somebody else can't? Dumb shit is staying with somebody no. who treats you oh like shit, God. and you treat them good. Maybe they, they realized like what they lost and what they did wrong oh, because they were... give me a break. See, see you ain't got to win. She just hates it. That's, that's all there is to it. No, well, no guess because what? I've been through too um, many of guess them. Guess what? I'm happy there's still a little bit of freedom left in the United States, and I still can do what I like, and you can choose what you want. Well, you can, uh, that's it. If that's what you choose, um, that's for exactly me, right. if you myself, choose to be a doormat, nobody can help you. Yeah, well, that's it. But... I, at, um, wow. If you my case, I don't want to be a doormat. I don't, I I don't, don't like either. the feeling of it. So no, because I, afterwards, you feel like after afterwards, you know, you go through the whole nine yards of thinking. They really care. They've changed. They've done this. They've done that. They Maybe your experience has been that way. And that's fine. Well, let's, let's, let's talk about the business at hand, though. If this person came back into my life, right. you know, why the 
fuck would I want to take them back? Right. Well, that's <laughs> they, a good they, question. They were so quickly to throw me to throw me aside. Yeah. Why all right. of a sudden should I be like, oh, oh yeah? But <laughs> well, I'm not saying you would or you wouldn't have to. They but I'm just epiphany. saying every situation oh is God. not a cookie cutter fucking inc- well, in- sure, instance. Well, sure, no. But not this particular situation is cookie okay. Is maybe that one is. But I'm saying you guys are blanket coating everything. It's called once the- you're done, it should be fucking it's over it's forever. It's called denial. For me, it that's is. That's what it's called. It's called <laughs> denial. When you can't mm. see something hit you right in your face. I mean, how many times does somebody have to slap you alongside the head before you want to stay? I guess 19 years worth, slapped? right? I mean, <laughs> well, I, had, I, I had to stay. In I had to stay. Okay. In I didn't have any circumstances. I mean, it's, mm-hmm. it's one thing if, like, say somebody, you know, they're tr- they're in the military and they have to leave and go overseas and fight. Right. Okay, that's one thing. That's Those are circumstances. But when somebody just straight up is like, I don't know how compatible we are. I don't want to be with you anymore. Blah, 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 blah. I got to go do my life. I'll be back when it's over. Yeah. Now, oh, I had my life. I didn't like it too much. I know. But so now I, I want you back. I've been to paradise. I but believe I've never in been love. To me. Here I am. Bullshit. 30 so you years know later. I am not going to let you two bring me down. Nobody this is a wants good day. Me. You naysaying nobody's, bastard, you. Nobody's, <laughs> trying, nobody's trying to bring you down. We're explaining to you the facts of life. It's like, <laughs> hey, you've been to paradise, but have you ever been to you? Yeah. You know, that's oh, the bottom wow. fucking line. Really? That song? Hey, that's You're some bringing real sh- that one up? Actually, that's some real it's shit. It's a good though. song. It is, but it's it's true. But you guys are trying to bring me down. I would like and to hear. And this is the stuff that makes me happy oh, show. Oh, here we go. I would no, like. See, <laughs> see, you notice that hamster, when, when he's losing the battle, he, uh-huh, he uses uh-huh. tools. No, there's no way I could lose this battle. It's just, uh, <laughs> you guys. See, see, he just thinks because he has like a, that, No, no, I, I've actually won, really and like I think them. anybody that would listen to this would realize I hear that this. I won because I you guys blanket-coated something, and right. then you backpedaled. Come on, I want to hear people. Let's get the phone number out and give the Skype. 702-605-0498. Yep. Let me uh, make sure I get that thing running because... Uh, oh, it could be. Who's out. right and who's wrong? You know, I, what I say is that you guys backpedal a little bit because you guys blanket-coated every uh, situation in the same shooting. thing, and okay. which is bullshit. You can't tell me that every time somebody leaves somebody out there that people can't change because you said they can, and then you said, no, they can't. So which it is it? Can they or can't they? So yeah, it depends on what's changing. Depends. Okay, like I said, maybe they fucked up. Maybe they were with somebody and they didn't treat them <laughs> maybe the way they should. See, <laughs> it doesn't you know finish. No, I can't. I can't even comprehend that because I'm a woman and it's so stupid. And if you're talking about a woman, you're getting <laughs> shafted. Yeah, you, we just got done ripping on women and how <laughs> fucked up they can be. <laughs> so you're you gotta realize. No, no, no. Shaft. I'm not making this a male or female thing. I didn't say gender, did I? No, you did. Well, but no, I am. I'm going on both sides. I, I understand that, but I'm not picking a gender on this one. I'm not saying uh, me personally. I'm saying people out there that it has happened to. There's people that have done things and then realize. I don't know who. They, I want to know these people. I want to meet them. I really yeah. do. You it's, know, 20 gotta, years ago, John Jigglebag fucking massacred his family. Wow. <laughs> yeah, but now, but he, then, now he... Hey, he felt bad about it. All of a sudden, he, he felt, felt bad, bad he so we left him out of jail, so now he just killed two more, and he feels bad about that, too, but <laughs> he saw the light, and he saw Jesus, and we're happy. Well, actually, the wife... Saw got, Jesus. The wife got out because she almost got massacred, but then she escaped, and then he was arrested and convicted. Well, but maybe he felt fi- bad because she didn't die, and he wanted to make it up to yeah. her. <laughs> Give her a couple more kids. Yeah. yeah. After his 15-year sentence, he came out and... The whole thing is, is you guys, you guys, you guys, you think team up on me is going to make you right. Up. It don't work that way. Up. We're not oh, teaming not up. Teaming up no, it's, it's all about you guys blanket coded. You are taking no, it personal. I think you're no, you're taking it personal. You're taking it personal. I am not saying any uh, gender. Uh, I am not saying anything. What I'm saying is, is that people can change. And you, my friends, have just blanket coded everybody into being the same. I'm not saying people do not go through that and people don't have patterns. Yes, they do. Show me somebody. So how if I told you, mm-hmm. if I say, hey, Jerkman. Shell wants to take me back, man, and I think I might do it. Right. Would you be kicking me in the fucking head? No. She'd be kicking your balls later. I wouldn't have to. Uh-huh. Because why? Because she didn't fucking change. Well, yeah. but, but that's Thank the you. whole thing. Your belt over the other side. Uh, okay, a little further, a little further, a little further. No, 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 no. <laughs> down, 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 down. Right on there. She's, there oh, you go. Thank you, Hamster. There, there it is. There it is. <laughs> All right. Well. I didn't. S- now see you, but see you no, guys are no, trying to no go buts, with somebody that no didn't buts, change. No buts, I'm no saying buts. if they did, so how, how many know? people? I haven't seen her in two years. That's right. Exactly my okay. point. How okay. would you know? Maxwell, Maxwell, mm-hmm. H- how many of these females have you cared about and really gave your heart to, and they all walked out the door? Oh. Oh, shit. How much time you got? Okay, that's me too. <laughs> so I think, we're, I think we're experts on there that. We go. We're right back, bitches. Yee!
what up, though? It's the Undeniable JT Money, a.k.a. the Bitch Isa. And you tuned in to STEM Radio with Maxwell Silverhammer and GJ the Jerk Man. Heavy that. And guess what? They hate hoes all much as much as I do. So don't sleep on these cats. And speaking of sleeping, don't forget to check out my new single, Hustling, from my new project, Morning Wood. It's going down heavy, baby. And speaking of being out, I'm out like a busted traffic, like you already know. Get him, Jay! A- answer me this. When did having a lot of YouTube hits and hella MySpace friends begin to determine whether a rapper has good music or not? Let's be serious. You wouldn't trust half of these people to wash your car or your dog. But you gonna let these people determine what music you listen to? That's crazy. You gotta be a leader, man, not a follower. Not a follower. And check out that classic album by your your boy Black Eyes. 5.0 Reasons, 10th Anniversary, 1998 to 2008. It's that classic Bay Area G-Funk and my room. Sample the entire album at CDBaby.com, Rhapsody.com, Napster, and iTunes. Or just Google your boy Black Ice. That's Y-A-B-O-Y Black Ice. He was a young white kid from the suburbs who had it all. Yo, Pops, when you gonna paint my motherfucking Bentley and shit? Sorry, son, I'll get to it. It's just been very hectic down at the office. But he wanted something more. Yo, I wish I could be a G, dog. He wanted to come from those mean streets and be a G like his compadres that he looked up to. Yo, man, if only I could have a gack, dude. I'd bust the most caps out of any G. Then he met Jay Fucka on MySpace, where he learned to rock up that crack cocaine with the dopest of OGs from the street. Yo, we we gonna hit the track right now, and we gotta slang these hover rocks, these motherfucking fiends, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, dude, can I roll with you, dog? Can I roll in your 6'4"? It's a tale of urban struggle. Yo, you gotta do what you gotta do to survive out in this bitch, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, dude, I can dig it, I can dig it. It was a tale of romance. Hey, dog, you mind if we sleep in the same bed? Gerald Jismbag and Harold Hardcock give it two thumbs up. It's Black Cock Down. Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Maxwell Silverhammer of the award-winning shit that irks me. Now, usually I'm joking and having fun and laughing, but in this case, I'm here to talk about something very serious. There's a phenomenon that's going on all over this country. It's called dimpling or dimple caking. That's right. There are lonely ass, poor, sorry sons of fucking bitches that have no friends, no life, and nothing really going on for themselves. So they need people to talk to. So what they'll do is they'll call your phone. And usually what you'll do, being the heartless son of a bitch that you are, you'll just let the phone ring and roll it into your voicemail. And then you sit there and you contemplate. Oh no, I have to call this person back. I have to call this person back. Knowing that there's quite the chore that's in front of you, what do you do? If you're the heartless son of a bitch that never calls them back, you need to stop now. You need to call that person back and do your dimple duty. That's right, it is your dimple duty to make sure that this person is happy and content and feels worth. That's right, this person needs to feel like they have some worth. So, do your dimple duty today. Thank you, I am Maxwell Silverhammer with a public service announcement. Do you hate women that you can't fuck? Have you tried to rub your dick on some woman's foot and she turns you down? What the fuck are you doing? Well, if so, you need Game for the Mentally Lame. That's right. If you're a mental retard and women are trying to kill you with their Google Cheesy Leasy, then this is the book for you. That's right. Learn brand new pickup lines. Hey, baby. You see my face? Wanna feel on it? No, I don't want to sit on your face, but I'd like to split your fucking lip. Or you can also learn brand new ways of being smooth. Smooth and romantic with the come-ons. Hey, how about we go have some hoochie, and then after that, we can go to the rum runner. Great, just what I've always wanted, my own drunken alcoholic retard. No thanks. So see, the proof is in the tard. So get Game for the Mentally Lame for only $19.99 if you call now. Order Game for the Mentally Lame for all tards and those who can't quite get it. 
you're a fan of hip hop and R&B, join me, the Bruh Bruh Ren, for a full non-stop hour of back-to-back -back slappers. Back-to-back uh, -back slappers. Where the playlist spans from genres like R&B soul. soul. Bangers life, hip hop bangers life. 25 sitting on 25 mil, huh? I'm in the building and I'm feeling myself. Rest in peace, Mac Dre. I'ma do it for the bay, okay? Getting paid, we'll holler whenever that stop. My team good, we don't really need a mascot. Classic throwback life. Well, I'm peeping and I'm creeping and I'm creeping. But I damn near got caught, cause my beeper kept beeping. Now it's time for me to make my impression felt. So sit back, relax, and strap on your seat. Yo, you've never been on a ride like this before. Every, every, every Friday night at 9 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. And Saturday at midnight Eastern Standard Time. Only on the Tough Love Show on JJ.fm. At last, the wait's finally over. Be Sick returns from a long hiatus with a brand new album entitled Mr. Zero Tolerance. Available for digital download only. Be Sick's no punches pulled approach on the mic gives listeners what they want, as well as gives the rap game a well-deserved kick in the ass. With such hard-hitting gems as the title track, Mr. Zero Tolerance. Mr. Zero fucking tolerance, fix that your butt. My touch will the gut. My toleration is none. Fucking bust your head, I bitch, I'm Or the laid-back, fun-filled street I'm anthem entitled nice. Change of Pace, it's featuring it's ghosts. It's something to bust. As a gift to the haters, so turn it up loud just to piss off your neighbors. And if you out rolling, you be getting a ticket. And if you straight to the guts, above, blind to the facts. Blind to the facts that your mind's in a trap. Blind to the facts that with time we adapt. Blind to the facts of what you don't understand. Blind to the facts by the media scans. Blind to the facts of what you read in a book. Blind to the facts. If you Download your copy book. today of Mr. Zero blind Tolerance to from www.cdbaby.com or go to www.cdbaby.com slash cd slash b sick 2 Download your copy today. Keep the realness in the rap game. We are anonymous, and you're listening to Maxwell Silverhammer. Fuck that guy. And DJ Jerkman. Yeah, fuck that guy too. Only on STEM Radio. Damn, this shit really hurts me. gonna throw your hand up for me uh, i was i was kinda, i know i watched no, you no, no i was i was actually uh. dancing i was just gonna move my hands like this and i was gonna go <laughs> i was gonna say hey, would hey. you forget who i was here no no i was just i was just grooving that's all yeah. that's all i wasn't gonna i wasn't did uh, i say what you thought i changed yeah huh. i thought you actually got intelligent did you really <laughs> well you were thinking wrong weren't you yeah obviously i you know it's funny uh you were uh uh, well, I want to open this again, though. Let's you do? 702-605-0498. Okay. Or you can Skype us at All Talk Radio. Mm -hmm. And, you know, do you really think people change? I don't think they fucking do. You know? So you think no one changes? Nope. And, including yourself. And uh, you know what? So I you're know. the same person you've been your entire life. I, I believe I am. I just I just changed the way I may do so things. You, but, but, but you changed. But no, that doesn't mean but I changed. you've changed. No, not really. Yeah, you have. I mean, I've changed. I may change the way I do things. Well, the way that's, I'm about that's things. change. You can't. You can't okay, decide what what's that, change what and what's the, not. What, change what, is change. Hey, Mr. Spin Doctor over there. What, <laughs> what, the, what does that have to do with, uh, you know, talking about somebody that gets into a relationship with you, and mm -hmm. you give them everything that you think you want to, you know, that you think that would make them happy, take care, you know? all over you. Everything that everybody tells you. This is what I want in a relationship. I want a man who does this. Or the woman's gone, or the man's gone, this is what I want in a relationship. And mm -hmm. then you give it to them, uh -huh. and they say, I don't want that. I want to do something better. I want to go with so and so over here, or or. Well, wait. Or that's my that life point. Is what I'm saying is, is if they changed. But but at that point, yes. Okay. That obviously, that's How the part many that needed times? to change. How if many times do you it, take them back? Well, because I went. I said a second years. chance. I didn't say a fourth and fifth and twentieth. I went nineteen I said a second years. Chance. So when do you, you're when stuck do on you your own sorrow lifestyle? I'm do, sorry, that's just the way it was for you. Well, how Doesn't many times? Like how for many times have you taken somebody back that said they've changed and they really care about you and they really made a mistake? Actually, I've never taken anybody back that I didn't think didn't care about me in the first place. How do you put them into your life? And how do you know they? If I'm going to tell you this right now. 
and I'm people can disagree with me. I'll Nobody go. walks out on you if they love you. Oh, yeah, Period. That's true. Yeah. Really? Yeah, if yeah, they true. love you, they yeah. stick through thin and thin. So, that's what made so all marriage. So you've never done anything in a relationship ever that you didn't think needed to change. Well, I never walked out on somebody. I Once never again, walked out I didn't on ask somebody. that. That's not the question never, I asked. Never left somebody with their dick in their Once hand. Once again, that's not the question I asked. What are you it? talking about? I said, don't. Haven't you ever done anything in a relationship that you afterwards the relationship broke up, whether they were the bad person or not in the relationship, but you look back and said, "Wow, I did this too, and maybe I shouldn't have done that." No. Never ever. Ever. Because you know why? Because, because you're I was no, because <laughs> I was brought up to believe what you were told back then that you and love this is a who person. You're siding with Maxwell, what you, you knew you, back then. You, you, you the thing is, no, you were taught love is love. You care for that person. You, you don't get into a relationship unless you care then for that person. Then why did my grandfather and grandmother stay together when they hated each other? Because again, you stuck together. You stuck, stuck together, and, thin, and, and you, you did. didn't walk out okay. on somebody. So then, then we're advocating. And you know what you then we're advocating nowadays. It's perfectly fine. Everything that's going on. Oh, oh no, 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 no! Oh, no. really? No. Really? No. You accepted people's faults. Now but, you do yeah. one little thing, and somebody goes, "Oh, yeah. I don't like that. I'm going to walk yeah. out." Well, bad. wait a minute. But that's accepting their fault. That would be a fault in them, wouldn't it? That's not accepting. When you leave because of what I'm saying do, is, yeah, when they is walk they out on you and say they can't be with you any longer because uh -huh. you're stifling their life and you're holding them back from doing everything right. they need to do, and they're sorry they ever meant you because if they wouldn't have meant you, they would have been this further ahead. Sorry they didn't marry you too. Throw that in there. Yeah, there's that too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, but that's it. You know, right. if, if somebody obviously, like you said, your grandparents stayed together even though they hated. Well, each I other. asked her that well, question. They may have loved each and other. And you do you answer that one. What? I didn't hear you answer. Did you sat back in any relationship and thought, well, you know, maybe if I wouldn't have done this too, things may have went a little differently? Max? Have I ever done that? Yeah. Um, I've, I've done it a couple times, but... Okay. But so you, you've seen room for change for yourself. But if that, that person, if that person loved him once and again, cared for him, once they again, would have accepted... Once again, you can't you make a nuclear bomb without all of its components. Or they would have allowed me to change. That's right. <laughs> once they, again, would, they would have given, you, given again, him the opportunity Once again, you can't make an entire sorry. nuclear bomb that will explode in your face nah, 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 unless you have all of its nah, components. Nah, nah, spin uh -huh. doctor, spin doctor. No, no, no. So sometimes... <laughs> no, Oh, we ahead, all add the components to make that nuclear bomb, nah. and there's parts that we could have nah, changed. You're talking in it about too. peas and but, peas and carrots. But I'm saying, if somebody dumps me, uh -huh. why oh, should it's I? Because you, it's personal then. Right? Why should I take them? Back? Well, it's personal then, right? No, because well, you said how okay, can they dump me. How what if you dump them and, and you realize you messed up and wanted them back? Uh, no, I don't do no, that. No, you don't do that. You don't do that. I dumped you. How many people do you dump that you care about? No, nobody. No, I've never had that happen. I've never dumped nobody. I don't know anybody in my life that came into my life. So oh, excuse me, my life's more important than you. Get, catch me up in about 50 years, and I might be a lucky <laughs> You know, she keeps saying 50 years, which I think she's really stuck on her ex-husband, because that's what it not, sounds an not, awful lot like. Not, not just him. There's other ones. No, I, you know what? Uh, everybody I've dumped, I dumped for a reason. Right, mm -hmm. You know, right. I had no plans of going back. I never, even later, I was never like, you know what I mean? So you and Shell never broke up? Uh, no, we really never did. Okay. So and you and any girl you were ever with never broke up and got back together even a day or two later. No, actually, oh well, you know, I I, I take that back. There mm. was um, Shell and I broke in two thousand four uh -huh. or in the beginning. Right, we did break up for. So for why'd you take her back? A month. Who broke up with who? Uh, I broke up with her. Wait, oh, uh, oh, oh, you what? I, it was I, you? Yeah, I broke well, up. With her. Well, I I thought you just proclaim that you don't take people back when you broke up with them. There's a reason you don't want to take them back because you broke up with them for a reason. He made a mistake. Yeah, I made oh, a mistake. Oh, we made a mistake. Yeah, he found oh, out that he made a mistake. See, that's oh, why, oh, there we go. That's, oh. why, that's why I would never <laughs> do it again. Dump, yeah, that's why you, I would never have me dump somebody and again. So, and, and, so and with doing that, you learn to change that, right? Change yeah, what? Yeah, so you change. So, oh boy, right. it looks like the spin doctor is spinning it right, isn't he? Oh, the spin doctor is not easy to spin. That's all he's doing is spinning it. Yeah, you're I spinning. Mean, yeah. you're spinning your wheels. Like you said you never do that. Then out. you then you claim you did. <laughs> you say you well, never do that. Then you claim you did. Then you said people don't change, but you changed it and never did it again. So you changed. You claim people don't change. 
Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah that's what I say. Yeah. You, well, no, I'm, I'm like, well, yeah, it's your spin doctor. Uh-huh. Yeah, he, he did. Don't, hey, don't, no, don't I'm telling you right now. Don't, you, don't guys have, you guys look like don't fools. Don't I'm telling you, fools. No, no we don't. It's just, <laughs> now I'm telling you, though, if I, if I dump somebody for good, if right. I'm done. So you learned and changed from it. Like, uh, Oh, yeah. Like, Kaylee, there's no fucking Thank way you. in hell I would take her back. Thank you. Yeah, well, whatever. That, <laughs> that's, that's one component. People say people don't change. You said you don't people don't change. They don't. Well, you just said you did. If they uh, don't love <laughs> you, they don't. You know, I, 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 you don't need to throw the I yes, don't love you. you we are sticking to brass tacks here. You we're are sticking in to a relationship. No, how we're, sti- that, we're how sticking that, to facts. How is that not a component? We're sticking to facts. He that said, is a fact. he co- I, and he can go back and listen to this tonight. He said, no. people do not change. And I just asked him if he changed. He said, yes. You're spinning it. So people do change and can change. So if they can change okay. one way, why couldn't they change another? <laughs> because they won't. Because they're okay. assholes. Uh, okay. Yep. They're just. Plain and simple, they're right. ass. If anybody treats you like dirt, okay. they're an asshole. Yeah, and I was stupid back then. I was 29. What the fuck did I know? Um. You know, I took her back. Oh yeah, you know, I'm sorry, baby. We all do that. But, we all do that. You're not the only one who's done that. You think I'll do it because, again? Because because, Hell you, no. because you know <laughs> why? Because you changed. You know why? But people don't change. Because you do it we again. want to believe that they love no, us. No, he's going to do it again. And we may He will do it again because people don't change. He will do it again. I, you know what? <laughs> people don't change. If they're fuckers, they don't change. That's the bottom Oh, line. so if it's only they're fuckers, they don't change. Yeah, if they're fuckers, they won't change. So you're a stupid idiot and stupid idiots will change, but fuckers won't. Yeah, well, I, I, I figured, <laughs> what do you think taught me that? Taking shell back. That's what taught me that. Okay. But because you I figured, okay. You learned she, to change. I figured she changed her behavior, right? Okay. So I took her back and guess what? She, she didn't did change her behavior. Some people don't fucking change. So there you go. They so just lead you to believe right. that I didn't they say have to get did. you back in their little web. I didn't say and everybody once changed. Once they get you in their little web, they're going to ha. No, I can I can I can simply state that everybody does change because that is a truth. Everybody does change. You're not the same kid you once were. People do change. That's a different type of change. We're not talking about that. We're talking about being in a relationship and loving somebody. A change (laughs) comes from a state of thought. A state of thought knowing something that needs to be different. So, no, it doesn't have to be a certain age for that to be understood. Well, I mean, you, you said when you were a kid you were a jokester. Yeah. And you did fucked up things. What do you do at 36? <laughs> I still play around. <laughs> fucking jokes. Yeah, but but I, don't, I don't have to change that, I don't believe. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> so, <laughs> See, but what I'm saying you is... You don't believe, believe and neither do those yeah. assholes if believe they need to change anything either. Excuse but my But there French. have been other things I have changed. So, uh, okay. so I, I'm, I'm not. you guys aren't putting me in a defensive here because I'm saying I have changed. I've changed a lot of things in but my life. But we're not talking about you. Who are you talking about? We're talking Those about people, people you've like had. The ones that you guys feel so mad over? Is that it? Because you guys are both very angry. You're very angry. No. no. You know, I should play I'm psychiatrist a, for you, too. I'm actually, I'm actually do, you know, <laughs> the, we wish those people would not come back. Yeah, yeah we don't want them. We're so brown. angry at them. I don't well, want to see guys, them. Why? You guys are bitter inside. Your hearts are full Ooh, of darkness. Let them go. Just let them go and be where they are. That's you know. why you get con 24-7, because these people come into your life and say, <laughs> look at me. Things I'm this perfect now. little angel. I am so sweet. Oh, I like cute little so bad girls. Kind. I like cute bad and everything. girls. So well, cute. they take that knife and they stab you in the back and they st- push it in and harder and harder. Mm-hmm. All the blood comes out and you're laying Good. there and they're going, but I really did care for you. Yeah. While you're bleeding to death. While you're bleeding to death. <laughs> That so sounds like marriage to me. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's almost like you've accepted well, that. sounds for like relationships well, anymore. I, I'm just, yeah, I'm just not taking that person back. No, I, I'm not saying either or. I'm just stating things that you guys said are not true that are true. I didn't say anything about you guys are the ones. That's why I said I think you two need help because you were the ones that are no. saying, I'm talking about change for people. You're saying nobody can change, and I'm proving that they can, and then you guys okay. are defending against it, saying it's all in relationships. I didn't say only in relationships, did I? Well, we were talking about relationships, so but that's, that's fine. Where you we can, went with but it. you're making a blanket. You made a blanket no, statement. No, it's not a blanket statement unless you're talking about so. Th- so then you're admitting to me that people can change. We're not talking about people <laughs> in a relationship so what you're who don't about. Okay. love you. Okay. You so like you think you think th- th- this whole world and the existence of every man or woman that's ever been, nobody's ever changed in a relationship. We're not. If you're changing your behaviors, you know, I don't mm. think you can really change behaviors like that, though. If, I if said. It's a, if it's a, uh, what do they call that? A trait? 
a, a, a pathological behavior. A patho- yeah, it's yeah, a pathological, pathological behavior. Pathological behavior. You're stuck in that behavior. Yeah. You know, you do not change. So you think all you of us in this room are stuck in pathological behavior? No, there's behaviors. people. I'm going to tell you yeah, what. Like there's you'll people. be a jokester at 80 years old. Yeah, there's there's people that you'll be beating a nursing home at 80. I'll be an asshole at 80. I was an asshole at 15. People who have <laughs> traumatic experiences happen to them when they were young. And what happens is that forms their opinion of empathy and they don't have it. They can't have it. They pretend they have it, but they don't have it because for them to have it, they would have to let their guard down. So you're saying so a kid that's, uh, all children that have been abused or had something traumatic happen to them will be un- sym- sympathetic to anything in the rest of their lives. I mean... I don't think it's <laughs> no, okay. I didn't okay, say that then. one. Okay. I said you said something that would traumatic that would happen yeah. would make them empathetic to other people. Yeah. So that happens to everybody that's had something tragic in their life because I believe we all no, have. No, some people. Well, it depends on the person. It depends on the person. Uh, some, some people may be empathetic. Some may right. turn into psychopaths. That's you know, it just right. depends yeah, on the that's person. True. And some people turn into loving Christians. And some do. What does that have to do with anything? They're the worst psychopaths I can think of. <laughs> well, that's, that's I knew you go down that road. <laughs> I, well, uh, shit, that is true. I mean, I've, I've seen that. But the whole thing is, is that it, uh, you can't blanket coat everybody with the same thing. No, but what way. we're trying to say is, you know, take experience of people that have had it. And right. if somebody comes back to you, if they've dumped you, if you mm. love them and given them everything that you know that you thought would be So you were the perfect them, angel in the whole relationship, right? We're not talking in about mind? angels. Yes, in I anybody, was. In anybody, oh, you were? In this particular wow. one I'm talking about? Damn. Yeah, I was. You're I'm, an angel. I'm going to say I was the angel. You were and an I angel. have to say I was the angel, too. I see so, my fucking halo over your head nah, there, Well, you better watch the one on mine. <laughs> oh, here it is right here. Yeah. That's my halo. It's a <laughs> dome. <laughs> <laughs> so, but uh, I, I guess the point is I treated this person well. They shit all over me. So, you mm-hmm. know what? I'm not taking, I, I would never take them back. But you did. No. One time. Are oh, you talking about this one new? The new one here we're talking about? The one koala? we've been talking about. Yeah, so yeah, you yeah. never take koala back? No. no. Ever. No. Why would he want okay. to? Oh, matter why? Fact, why? I wa- yeah, why would I want to? And matter of fact, that's why I'm putting this shit on the archive. Okay. So I can always look back at this archive and go, eh, eh, see what you said? So I keep myself in check. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, yeah. Well, that's I, you. That's good. Yeah. That means you changed your way of thinking about things. Good. Well, you had some change. I, I had some change <laughs> for the better. Okay. You know, I didn't say good, bad. I didn't say what it was. You changed. I guess the bottom line is you watch where you go and remember where you've been. Yeah. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Don't don't keep Talk touching about the hot spinning something. Don't yeah. touch the hot fucking stove all the time. You know. Wow. Well, and I, I know you were like, oh, but you take her back if you but, had that. But you no. but you learn not to touch that hot stove and change that whole way of doing it. You can't get oh, into yes. the Once future. Once again, if I you're see trying to go. I am the champion, I, my I see, friend. I see you're trying to go there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was right uh, once again. You can't, you can't, <laughs> you can't, you'll never get into the future if you're always hanging on to the past. That's oh, true. Wow. Why don't oh, you make that the Hallmark card? Or, or even with, well, that's, that's some <laughs> true shit. Or if the past is still fucking trying to chase you, yeah. you know, to grab onto that, fuck that. That's why Run it's like Freddy Krueger's in your dreams, right? Yeah, that's true. That, just yeah. get away from it. You know, I mean, like I said, I don't regret the time we had. It was fun. It was good. And I'm glad I had it. But at the same time. Man, it's, it's time over. to move on. It's so if, over. You were, if, if you were about to leave this world that we live in with some helpful words, what would they be? With, if I were about to leave some the world with some helpful, wor- yeah. with some helpful <laughs> words. If this, if this tonight was the end all to be everything and you, you knew you were leaving this place and after that you were going to pass away and the last words you could say to everybody <laughs> would be. To everybody? I would say watch where you go and remember where you've been. Okay. Yeah. What would yours be, Carol? I think that's a good Hamster. one. Hamster. Oh, you're going to copy his? No, I'm not going that's to. Cool. I, what a I would say that I got so many <laughs> sayings. It's, it's even, you know. Remember, okay. you're making a memory. It's your memory. Wow, what the hell was that? We just made a memory. <laughs> <laughs> if you decide to go back in the past, you're the only one, you know, who can, uh, you know, plot your future. Right. Because the past is, that's what you're doing with your future. Really? You're, you're just spinning your wheels like the hamster and going nowhere. <laughs> right mm-hmm. on. That's very, very, yeah, I like that. You know what I would say? What would you say? See you later and thanks for all the fish. <laughs> right on. <laughs> I'm Maxwell Silverhammer. I am a uh, hamster. I'm GJ, the <laughs> champion <laughs> jerkman, spin doctor. <laughs> and that's <laughs> the story <laughs> there, bitches. <laughs> See ya. The Yeah, yeah.